How the fuck do I wear that? That is pretty as hell. I don't wanna wear it. <sighs> oh, wait. gonna run around Hogwarts like this. <laughs> uh, still got five minutes till we start. See what other appearances I have. Oh, ooh, I feel like this would fit better. We're gonna run around like this. I like the outfit I had, but this looks good. I look so dapper! <laughs> See if we can find other Hogwarts things, then we'll do that. Hi! Hi to the one person that's here! Hopefully everything's loaded in. I opened the game early, so it would take less time to load everything. I found out, uh, different outfits can have skins, so I changed into this beautiful outfit right here. And I already walked to the, um, charms class, so that way we didn't have to run around. I only found a couple of bathrooms and Professor Fig's class. We can go annoy Professor Fig in his class, but there was something I saw when I got over here that I wanted to check out. <laughs> is that who I think it is? Hello up there! Peeves! Oops, something happened. Where'd he go? <gasps> kitty! Can I pet the kitty? Forget Peeves, we're petting the cat. Oh no. I'm not telling my story. Yay, kitty! Okay, now we'll go to Peeves. Sorry. I don't know why it's lagging. It was working fine before. Enough. You'll get us all detention. And you're both wrong anyway. It was Professor Score. It wasn't Benson, it wasn't Black. But you're awfully trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Peeves almost just killed these students with us. Come back! Peeves! I'm still trying to figure out what these doors are. Because you, you're supposed to roll these dice thingies. And apparently it'll do something with this door. <laughs> My character's just looking at us like, the fuck? Oh, our new cat friend's coming over. Hello! Hello, kitty. Pet the kitty again. There we go. Oh, kitty. It's meowing at me! Hi, baby! 
Okay. Who can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented two pounder? Oh my god, why are you lagging? You were working fine before. I don't know why my game is lagging. Okay, before we go to charms class, we're gonna go... We're gonna annoy Professor Fig. Look at him! Apparently the bathrooms are new here. Because, according to Harry Potter lore, they didn't have bathrooms in Hogwarts until the 1700s, and this is like the 1800s. <laughs> this... I think this is it. Professor! Professor, open the door! Professor Fig! Professor! Oh my god, people are yelling at me. Hold on a second. What happened? I walked away for two seconds. What happened? Is it trying to load in Professor Fig's classroom? Damn it, game, let me play. I love that you can pull up the menu whenever. That's useful. What is going on here? Help? <laughs> Am I in Professor Fig's classroom or no? Why does this why is this game so laggy? When are they gonna release the day one update? To get rid of these glitches. Oh god. Ugh, fuck it, we're going to class. I wanted to annoy Professor Fig, but... Guess he's too good for me. Thought we had something special, Professor. I didn't press the menu button. What the fuck? Go to charms. Oh my god. Okay, we'll just use the map and teleport to charms because I have a flu thing there. Why do you hate me, game? And why are you only working when the stream isn't on?
I'm, I'm sorry for lack of content. The game is being a glitch bitch. At least we're not talking to anybody. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, load faster. I'm literally fast traveling to the place I was. It shouldn't take this long to load, because it's already loaded. Hogwarts is so pretty. I hope I can, like, leave campus and, like, stand on a hill and be able to look at Hogwarts. Because <laughs> it's so freaking pretty. <sighs> We're getting somewhere? Please? Damn it. I just realized Hagrid's hut isn't going to be there. Because Hagrid isn't going to be there. Hagrid isn't in the He's facing the opposite of death. Unbirth. He has had a lack of being born. Is that weird to say, like, undeath? Because, like, he hasn't been born yet, so you can't... I don't know, I'm... I'm tired, I had a long day. I just want to go to class and go to Hogsmeade. I need to figure out how to log into my Harry Potter account so I could get extra shit. <sighs> I don't remember my login stuff. I mean, I think I know what it is, but I don't at the same time. I got McDonald's today. Oh. Yeah, so this is Fig's classroom. And if if my computer wasn't being such an asshole, we would have gone in there. But we're going to Charm's class. Stop freezing! <laughs> this game sucks. Waiting on this game to process everything is takes half the stream time. Professor Ronan tends to figure the magical out. experience is coming early here. Okay, okay, I... Harry Potter fans may know this, but... See this red-headed loser right here? This stick, this stick right here? His last name is Pruitt. Which, for uh, fans who don't know, that is Mrs. Weasley's maiden name. So... He is technically a Weasley, by marriage. <laughs> so he's either the grandfather or great-grandfather or possibly dad of uh, Molly Weasley. It's hard to tell with wizard ages. 
I I don't remember what her father's name was. I know they have like a list of like names. But So this ginger right here is technically a Weasley. The red the redheads are strong in that family. Okay, let's go to class. Class, class. I want to school, please. Why does this game hate it when I am streaming? Like, literally, I before I was officially streaming, the game was running fine. But the minute I start streaming, it threw a hissy fit. It starts throwing a tantrum. I need to get a new computer, but I cannot afford it whatsoever. Behind you, there is an open seat here. Hello. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of ch Charm, but... I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor right. requisite now, of everyone. Please open oh God, my, my game is so glitchy. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Mm. Wouldn't one change color and the other uh, 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 make things I grow? I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your whole days practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. Uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? My dog's barking and I don't know why. Hmm. Well, Probably an old lady. We're in dire need of review. Everyone get into pain and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now, let's put my... those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book I have will be many needed questions. for partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Oh, no! Dale, I'm sorry. I'll be, I'll be your partner. Screw the Gryffindor girl. I like, I like Dale. I don't remember her first name. But to be fair, that's not me being a dick. I'm just bad at remembering names. Oops. I fucked up. Accio, bitch! Whose wand am I using? Because they said I'm getting a wand in Hogsmeade. You are a swift learner. Akio, I see a lot of potential, but remember, that is not potential bad. is nothing without practice. <laughs> the audio in this Keep game is a, a joke for my playthrough. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I like him. Ooh, I have two people watching now. Yay! I I want to annoy Professor Fig though. <laughs> I want to I want to make him up. I want to piss him off. <laughs> For anyone who hasn't seen my um earlier uh streams of this, I am quite annoying to Professor Fig. <laughs> to to uh very weird degree. I like Fig too. Yeah, I like Fig, but I like, I know, I don't, 
I'm guessing most of the glitches in my game are caused by Fig because I pissed him off in the tutorial. <laughs> I kept annoying the fuck out of him. My character is canon to have ADHD. <laughs> I mean, I have ADHD, so... Uh, usually when I play RPG games, my characters uh, have ADHD because I get distracted by Shiny. But no, this character actually does. <laughs> and then they also have uh, social anxiety because um, I, I seem to have like some sort of audio lag. So anytime I try to do like a talking with another character, my, ca my character just stands there for five minutes not saying anything. It is hilarious. Fig fought back with the crashes and the lags. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trying to make my character make all these friends and they are just standing there with social anxiety just going, uh. <laughs> I, I feel like a mom trying to push my child to make uh, friends, and my character's just standing there like, uh. <laughs> Load faster, game. I need to check the... I need to check the stats of my Twitch thing, because... Um, explained a little bit of how to make a stream run better but they used it for a different software and I have no idea what they were talking about so I was trying to annoy fig earlier but then my game got weird I don't know what happened I stepped away for two seconds to let it load and then my screen went black <laughs> I like finding the characters that are connected to other characters. I haven't ran into a Malfoy. I need to hunt down a Malfoy. Because I found a Weasley. I found Pruitt. I haven't found a Potter. They're probably in a Gryffindor. Um, there's a Black. These load times are as good as Sonic 06. Yeah. I haven't played that game, but I assume it's bad. <laughs> But, but no, like, my, the game was running fine before I started my stream, but the minute I started my stream, it just was like... I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> I know there's a character related to Voldemort in here. I've seen clips. So I'm like, I can't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to befriend them or not. Maybe the stream is sort of overloading. I don't know. Why don't we have our newest students start us off? What? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Professor, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I pr I do know what I'm doing. I'm pretty good at spell casting in this game, but still. <laughs> Befriend Voldemort's relative, yeah. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Accio. Now, uh, think. Oh no, my lag! Stay focused. I am focused, I just have lag. <laughs> I suck at this. You're ballin'. Yeah, I'm ballin', bruh. Happens to the best of us. Bitch! Fuck you! I let go at the last possible second. Sir, I have autism. I take things very literally. <laughs> it's not my fault that there's a thing called physics. <laughs> 
points to Ravenclaw. I don't. But I certainly shit. No sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Sir, you just saw me. How was I? How was I good at this? I'm just gonna Come on up. score and all. <laughs> what if I want to be red? And I'm. I am going to fill this. Akio. Fuck. Sports are not my forte. Dang, girl. I, I want to at least be on the board. <laughs> Off the bat. Yeah, she got three fifties in a row. <laughs> I blame him physics for this. You what is that kid doing there? He was like caught up in a ball. He's like, oh god. <sighs> I really hope this isn't a, a mini game where like, oh, you gotta keep playing until you win because I'm not gonna win because physics sucks. <laughs> I get the gist of spell. Don't make me continue. <laughs> This is truly perfect. <laughs> perfect beginner talk. Yeah. Usually they give me some like they have the NPC bare minimum. She just aced it. She just aced it right off the bat. I'm like, honestly, what the hell? And I don't think the physics for the balls co completely went in. Cause I've seen it's clips of that scene and, and it's, the balls are supposed that. to hit each other. Mine went, went right through. That's what I was hoping for with my last ball, was I'd hit her out and I would go in. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Please don't. Ma'am, it's your turn. Ma'am. Ma'am. Hurry. <laughs> you just got lucky. Just pure luck right over here. I know, right? It's her turn. I can't do anything. I'm pressing buttons. Natty, move your ass and let's get this over with. I want to go to lunch. I still have to go shopping, girl. I have to get my wand, even though I have a wand. <laughs> I think we are well past interest in a bit. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Sir, again, this round I have a note from my doctor saying ADHD. I cannot focus. <laughs> She's calculating the angles in physics. Right. Yes! Oh my god, if she gets 50 again, I'm going to kick her ass. Okay, good. Oh no, lag! I gave her 50 points! Ah! No, I gave her 50! Finally getting the hang of it, and I
Wait, wait. Ha <laughs> ha, I got points! Fuck you, Natty! <laughs> Don't hit her ball and it won't let me hit her ball. I hate you. It's supposed to be collision. See, it hits all the boxes, but it won't hit the balls. That's what I was. Oh, that ball just no clipped into it. Yeah, exactly. I think she's cheating. She used to <laughs> Totally. <laughs> I want to go to Hogsmeade. I wonder if there's a version of songs from the Harry Potter Not musical, because that'd be wasting, good for before stream. You must be nervous. You are doing quite well. Hello? She's performing Dark Arts right now, yeah. Very good, both of you. Well done. Oh, shut up. You know I was shit. I was utter shit and you know it. <laughs> I still don't know why I am so late to Hogwarts, because the characters, uh, they said I'm a fifth year. And I don't know, I don't know why I'm here yet. I don't know if it's a story thing, because if it's a story, story thing, no spoilers, but did you know you could sort of choose the way you choice by doing with their fan club thing and doing his test seat yeah or wand yeah yeah i have done those that's why i'm like i don't remember my login stuff i'm gonna see if i can log in because then i could possibly get my wand because i think it's like cherry wood with unicorn hair and it's like really flexible I I I know for a fact that I need a flexible wand because I've I've gotten wands from like Ren fairs and Comic Cons before and I've sat on them and they break. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, getting a flexible wand would be very very useful for me. <laughs> I need flexible wood. That sounds weird out of context. Uh, I got unicorn one on inflexible too. Yeah, I think, cause yeah, there's like um, there's like a sci like a magic science behind it. I think I like looked into it because, um, me and my group of friends were like huge, uh, Harry Potter fans. So we we knew we went into like the nitty gritty, and I loved learning all the education stuff like i would have loved to go to hogwarts myself <laughs> like i learned anything educational uh i got the ron wand i think okay yeah but um i loved learning about like the history the sciences of the magical world all that kind of stuff i even got into the sports of it and i hate sports like uh i had i had some of the quidditch teams memorized like uh, like the professional teams there because like I used one for a crossover fanfic I was writing when I was younger I never published that fan fiction but it was like a Digimon Harry Potter crossover and so I mentioned the Japanese team <laughs> so I was I was one of those, like, really... Huh? Quidditch is the greatest sport to ever see in real life. Yes! Oh, you want to know something nerdy I did? I was, like, 
the biggest nerd when I was younger. I mean, I'm still a huge nerd, but not as much as I was when I was younger. I was, like, one of those cringy fangirls when I was younger. But, like, I I was the kind of nerdy kid that went to science camps. And at one of my science camps, we had a experiment based on lasers. So we played Quidditch with the lasers. <laughs> So we would take the lasers and mirrors to try and get it through the Quidditch hoops. It was awesome. It was Start so nerdy. Gather your things on the way out. Oh. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go patient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Uh, I, I love that. I didn't want to go easy on you. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. To put it's a lot to... <laughs> She's like, I shut the fuck up. I'm still talking. <laughs> I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Oh, Wagadu. My received an offer to teach divination. Before I knew it. We had left Uganda and were halfway around the world. I am so good going to try country. and kill everyone in the castle. Sadly, you can't, and I'm so bad. I'm so sad. Um, I heard about that because, like I said, I love all the educational stuff. So I know what Uagadu. Right? I don't. I think I pronounced that wrong. But Uagadu uh, is. It's a African magic school like Hogwarts, but they don't use wands because they want. They wanted something natural, so they use. They used magic from their hands. Wands are like kind of like a lightning rod. It makes it a lot more e easier to control. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn See? how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh, here comes the social anxiety. <laughs> I am so. Oh, I already read that. <laughs> you can cast spells without a wand. Oi, I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Aww. Yeah, I like. Uh, so those kids are much better than one people. Yes! I loved learning about the different, uh, magic schools throughout the world. Castle, like Hogwarts. Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful part of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick, I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized Yee. before me. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. I love it. Hogwarts, nah, Yagadu, yeah. Yeah, I, I also would love to check out Ilvermorny. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Well, yeah. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Aww. I, I assume it'd be like all of Africa coming together to the school. So, I mean, like, I don't know for sure. I need to do more research on it. But, but, um, I mean, Africa is a big, uh, continent. So I imagine a big population of wizards going there. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him <laughs> Yeah, he's just awkwardly standing there with his hands on his hips like... <clears throat> oh god, her legs are gone! Uh, but yeah, another school that has interesting history is the... Um, is the, um... American... Uh, school because half 
the mo half of the founders were muggles, which is really cool because it was like a witch and then one of her kids had magic, one was a squib, and then her husband was a muggle. So it's, it's kind of cool that uh, for the American school, muggles helped build it. Just a very premium because of Dumbledore, I swear. He was the most powerful wizard that just made Hogwarts Rebellion. pop. Yeah. Well, uh, also it was the focus of the original series and a lot of the following um, content. Because, like, when, you, when we actually got information learning about all these different, um, all these different schools, it just became ten times more fascinating. And I'm like, I want to check it out there. I think... I can't remember what it was for, for Japan, because I think they did say they had, like, a Japan-style school, but it was, like, a cram school, which is, like, really popular in Japan. Uh, I think I, again, I studied it, that kind of stuff. I need to look it up, a though. Word, if you would. You just said a word. Bye! <laughs> You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? No, well, Natty's a bitch. <laughs> an out in competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss uh -huh. O'Neill is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss O'Neill is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she's a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your, your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. How, again, how am I able to not go to school? And t uh, Japan Wizard School right now is probably so ad technology advanced like decades ahead of its own. Yeah. There's actually- okay, I found out after like doing some research on it because I thought learning about the other uh, schools around the world was fascinating. There's actually a wizard school for the arts. So like you could- you could take drama, but magic. <laughs> There's an actual school of that! I love it! <laughs> I want to go there! <sighs> This is so fascinating to me. I love that kind of Professor Natty knocked over your books. Oh. Dang it. I don't like JK Rowling, but the history and shit behind all of her stuff is just so fascinating to me. Wait, where did all the kitties go? Aww. Professor, some students knocked over your shit. Gimme. Free money. Yay. Oh wait, can I spin the globe? Uh, I hate the idea of boycotting this game because of her. All she did was make the theme, not the game. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I bought the games. Because I love the universe, and I know she had nothing really to do with it. <laughs> Spin. Dang it. But, um, yeah, I love the universe so much that I'm just like, I have to. I have to play this. I don't support her in any way. But I I need this <laughs> for my for my own childhood dreams. I need this, and I accidentally made my character trans. So screw you, J.K. Rowling. I was trying to choose a voice, but I was having difficulty with the character selection. So I just I randomly chose one of the voices, and now I have a, a my character has a male voice, but they're uh, female presenting. So who cares? <laughs> when I heard it, I yeah, I I've been following the development of this and I've been waiting for this game to come out 
and they kept it pretty secretive like for the longest time because i i heard about it i heard things that were going on and i'm like when is this coming out i'm buying it and it's harry potter with a poly portion yeah that's but um i'm just like i honestly i need this game to make my to fulfill childhood dreams what the fuck you looking at you want to go metal boy you want to go But, um, yeah, I'm, other, other than all the glitches, I'm enjoying it. I'm having the time of my life. Ooh, why are you glowing? to do something here Lumos Oh I did Ready a thing <laughs> Guys, I'm level 3 But yeah, minus all the glitches and lags that I've been with, I am loving this. I'm loving this a bit. This is fulfilling all my Hogwarts fantasies. <laughs> well, not all my fantasies, if you know what. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm j joking. Uh, let's get the map out because I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here. Come on, load. That was the guy who found the Americas. I think he- I think it's like same style, but I don't think it is him. Magic. Um... But yeah, I'm I'm having so much fun with this. I I love that all the portraits move too. Like, um, I haven't really been examining them because I don't do much. But like every portrait is um it moves and it's just so cool. <laughs> like, um I love the portrait in like the common hall, I think it's called. I don't remember what it was because it's an area I don't remember. Um, but it had this like this dragon mural, and the tail of the dragon was wagging, and I'm like, Whoa! <laughs> I love the fact that you're still in the castle. <laughs> yeah, I my game's been very laggy, and half the stream last time was just my character with social social anxiety. So <laughs> we're doing much better. <laughs> Also, I fell into the void. Oh. <laughs> that was when we ended the stream last time, was when I fell into the void. <laughs> Vault door, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, I was just laughing. Because I was trying to explore things and not everything loaded in. You know, like that glitchy thing that happens in games where it shows, like, the underside of the building? Like, it, it was kind of doing that. And I, like, walked through it and I fell. And then I landed somewhere else. And then I kept walking and I fell again. And I just fell into the void. <laughs> um... Any streams you missed, I will be po putting it on YouTube eventually. Um, I need to figure out how to delete my old channel. Because I, I had another CCD um, YouTube channel, but that was what, like in, when I was way younger and I didn't figure out that kind of stuff yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, it... Oh. My channel is, um, it's 
a if you know it's my channel if it's in the icon with where the background's pink a girl with brown hair is holding a purple and pink cat plushie because that is a character from a comic i'm making so <laughs> that is my official channel uh if you see ccd gamer girl with that on youtube that's me if it's a different one then it's someone else or well it technically might be me as well but it was my old account <gasps> kitty pet the kitty you don't need to have social anxiety it's a cat there we go yay I'm going to be famous, no way. <laughs> I I don't have much attention on my channel, so I probably wouldn't be that famous. Who's a good kitty? Okay. If we go to Hogsmeade, we may be able to get a pet. So, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't know if Miss Weasley to be here. Um, is she supposed to be here? Where is she? <laughs> Graphics on that cat are bad, but decent. Yeah, that's what I've been noticing with my game, because, um, the graphics tend to load in pretty well, but when they don't, it gets, it turns into PS1. <laughs> what about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, V. Perhaps you See? could help. See? When it doesn't fully load in, we get the PS1 oh, <laughs> graphics. Uh, excuse, Deke. Bye! Ah, there you are. There is a cat in the transfiguration room. I trust McGonagall. your classes went well? <laughs> they did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? They aren't blinking and their eyes are wide open. Yeah, I know. Never mind, but still what? Social anxiety time! Oh, wait. My training. He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a stream. Regardless, <laughs> you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Yay, I get extra homework. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This was half the stream last I'm not time. I'm sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find that you'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, uh, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade, Professor I mentioned earlier, we right arranged here. to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. I love that the uniforms are a and lot more nice here. You've managed your classes here. well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Big. Yeah, I found his classroom and I wanted to annoy him, but uh, he's he it wouldn't work for some reason. As an Ollivander's in Most people <laughs> Jesus, are Miss with shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine... I would trust no one I, else to pair me with a woman. I don't know if he's the same Ollivander or if it's a name passed down. I don't know. What's a spellcraft? Is it like magic with scissors and paper and glue? 
We gonna make I some magical origami? Spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft. He's is avoiding you now. We must track him down and break, objects. breaking into stuff. I yeah, I just imagine him sitting in his office grading papers, and I just duration. kick in the door like, Professor. <laughs> Not that position right now. My character's like, what, Weasley? <laughs> now is not the time for stuff. a wide array <laughs> of potions ingredients, <laughs> although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Okay, I'm ready to go. <laughs> this. I'm not kidding. This was literally half my stream last time. It was just my character I'm standing to there. Get dogs meat. <laughs> Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Oh fuck. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Uh. I guess Natty. She seems more responsible. <laughs> Oh my god, my character's literally like, what? <laughs> now is not the time for social anxiety. We have to go shopping. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. We're gonna get turned up on Butterbeer. You can't stop me, Professor. This was your idea. If we get drunk, it's on your watch. Stays local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts. The Wait, who? Finished Professor Ronan's whoa, 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 hold on, who? We'll meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner Shout out to Professor Fig, here's his IP address, my favorite part. Yeah, right? We're gonna dox Professor Fig. Wait, he has a dead wife, now I feel bad. They mentioned that in the in the beginning of the game, his wife's dead. <laughs> my character's got a great butt. Look at that. Boom. Ah, something's happening. Why can't you load everything when it's supposed to be loaded? <laughs> I can't even jump without it freezing. This is the transfiguration room, so like Professor McGonagall. And what I was saying before is, there's a picture of a cat in Professor McGonagall's room. And an extra shout out for his dead wife, Mrs. Fig. <laughs> Rip, yo. Help, I can't stairs. That's not the cat that uh, the professor is, but... Is that another cat? I love that there's cat a bunch of cat pictures in um in here. Cause it, it just reminds me of Professor McGonagall. Technically she isn't born yet, but Professor Professor McGonagall's a bad bitch. Jesus Christ, you know how to use stairs. <gasps> Hat. Oh, 
Oh my god, is that a reference to Alice in Wonderland? The Mad Hatter and the uh, rabbit? If only you could cast people on random NPCs, yeah. Okay, we need to go. Meow, 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 meow. I wonder if Honeydukes is there. Oh. Meow, 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 meow. I'm a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. If, if, um, if my streams get popular, I'm going to bring back something that I was trying to do, but it was kind of hard for um, for a stream that nobody was really watching. Um, I, I wanted to do something called Wonderland Wednesdays, where we do something connected to uh, either Alice in Wonderland or just fairy tales in general. We were playing uh, America McGee's Madness Returns. Uh, which is an Alice in Wonderland game, in which I loved that game, but it kept glitching on me, and I couldn't continue, and I haven't had time to try and, um, I haven't had time to try and fix the glitch, so. I've been putting it off. <laughs> Hi, Professor. Ah, there you are. Can we go down the rabbit hole? Yeah. I actually want to restart a Sims build that I was doing based on Alice in Wonderland. It was a uh, the top layer was you like a Victorian a style house, and then well there thought. was a huge the garden. And then if you go to like the back corner of the garden, there is a uh, hole that you could go in, and it'll be like the huh. story of Alice in Wonderland. Come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. Wait, what? As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well. Some but random first, sim calls the police on us. Oh, yeah. Complete a few preliminary tasks. I have arranged them for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I love this outfit that I found. They had, um, if you choose certain outfits, they have certain skins no on them. Or and this is one of the skins, experience. and I love it. Such experience is invaluable I also have, like, a Renaissance-style dress, which I love it. I love that the professors are just assuming what I'm saying. I haven't said anything. <laughs> They're like, uh huh. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. <laughs> I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Honestly, why do they even have janitors? Just use your very overpowered wand to immediately. Exactly! That's why Mr. Filch makes no sense, because he's supposed to be like the person in charge of that stuff and and he's the he's the only one there without magic like honestly i understand dumbledore's trying to do the guy a favor but don't make him janitor of a magic school and expect him to clean up shit without magic <laughs> Trying to, I saw that shine. Get the field guide page. Woohoo!
But yeah, that's why I always had a problem with Filch, because he's like, everyone's just like, oh yeah, we're going to have the non-magical guy be the one clean up all these messes. I think that was Professor's turn it into a cat son, yeah. This is the right area. No, nobody would sleep with her. Umbridge? Yeah, no one would sleep with her. Um, I'm supposed to fix the statue, I think. Oh! Where'd it go? I saw that. Come back. Am I supposed to Accio it? Accio! I did it. Oh my god, why are you so... Got it. Other professor, the lady that Harry... Oh, McGonagall? McGonagall never had any children. Uh, she always wanted kids, but the only man she ever loved passed away uh, when she was young. And she never re remarried and never had kids. Let me in. Let me in! Yeah, McGonagall was the one I was talking about before. Is it... Go in the door. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I got it. I saw that. Uh, was that love a muggle? Feel... Yeah, I think he was. I don't know if I'm Rebellion. Oops, wrong button. Accio. Where did he Oh my god, the game's like it's not helping my case. Yeah, like she was from a big wizard family and they threw a hissy fit and kind of disowned her. Guys, I figured out how to... I remember watching like 20 videos- yeah. I- I was like following the wikis and stuff, and I was the- I was on Pottermore a lot when I was younger. <laughs> Before Pottermore turned into shit and was basically just a shittier version of the wiki. <laughs> Brilliant. I really hope Honeydukes is there, or like a pet store. I want a cat, damn it. I mean, I prefer a dog, but. Uh, when it comes to pets at Hogwarts, you're supposed to do cat, frog, or owl. So I want like an owl or a cat. Let me go! Please. Please open the door. Hello, Hamora. Hello, Hamora. Dogs are not allowed in the Wizarding World, and that's pretty bad. Well, I think they were trying to do, like, more, uh, magic, uh, stereotypical animals, and dogs aren't really seen as, like, a familiar. Usually when it comes to, like, familiars and magical cat, owl, or frog. So. 
but there are magical dog creatures, which is part of the reason I'm pissed with the Fantastic Beasts things, because one of the creatures in the Fantastic Beasts, the little mole, the shiny things, that is a dog. I'm going to tape wings onto a dog and say it's magical. Yeah, but no, there's um the little mole thing that's like one of the main animals in the Fantastic Beast movies is supposed to be a dog because the species it's based on w showed up in the Harry Potter books and it says that it was it looked like a dog and it looked like a black Labrador and it was it's basically like a dog that digs for shiny objects so it wasn't supposed to be a mole but they changed it for the movie because it probably had a more magical look that way but I'm like I, you would have sold more merchandise if it was a dog. <laughs> you know people would go batshit crazy. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like a Niffler. Professor Rowan. I got your shit. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. No, it's just the lag was. I somewhat like those movies. Slept through part some of it though. Yeah, the second and third movies uh, suck if we don't get another one. Marvelous. I completed the assignment. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old like... blending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. Um, I want to see some But they vigor. felt like lore now, dump movies. So if ready. nothing happens yes, for like the fourth, because I know they're talking about canceling the fourth movie. Uh, if nothing happens with the four, then those movies are shit. I, I don't want to sound mean to anybody who likes them, but in the, in like the standing of creating a storyline, those movies are shit. <laughs> the only reason they work is if they're lore dumps, which is a term that I use for, uh, um, I want to see Professor Dumbledore. Remember, well, he is a professor is a by the point you come magic. into the movie. But he needs to become headmaster. Oh, I gotta press the other button. I'm gonna let this load for a second because I. But um. But yeah, because the second and third movies felt like they would be lore dumps, and the third movie wasn't supposed to happen the way it did. They they had a different plot line for the third movie, but they threw it out last minute and created the plot out of the third movie. And that's probably why the third movie is shit. <laughs> because they had a plot line, but they threw it out. <laughs> and now everybody's like, yeah, this franchise sucks. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I love those movies, but I like, I hate how they're written. I think the third movie was a huge cliffhanger. Yes, again, the movie will be shit if they don't make another one. And I know that's... I, I don't want them to make another one because of how bad it's been going, but I just need closure. <laughs> I need closure. Oh, I missed it. Fuck. I was... I was focusing and not focusing. And uh, that's another thing that I have a questions of this character. How are they casting magic outside of Hogwarts? Like, I know this sounds a weird question, and I will elaborate, but wizards that don't use their magical powers uh, create this dangerous disease, which is in the Fantastic Beast movies, because that's what happens to, um, what's his face? I. The really edgy teenager guy. I can't remember his name. But, um... But the guy that w uh... The- Oh my god, he's played by Ezra Miller. But, um... He... He has this disease that... Basically destroys the wizard if they don't use magic before... Um, before they hit a certain age. 
because it's basically restraining your body to a point where you become a ticking time which is why I'm confused as to how my character went through no magic things at all until this point. Yes, the best human alive as Ezra... Yeah, I don't remember his character's name, but, um, and I'm pretty sure I got his name wrong, but... <laughs> But, um, but yeah, because my character should be dead if they have not done anything magical whatsoever. Like, honestly, because you're supposed to show magical, uh, skills at a really young age. Uh, and even if you're not go Very good. Shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> even if you're not using like magical spells in a wand or going to a magical school, your body automatically does magical things. Which is what happened with Harry uh, in the beginning of the first book. Uh, if you would like to practice oh my god, shut up! Go with that broken statue I'm leaving you. By the water. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so he's... Symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Shut the fuck up. Um, but yes, in the first book, the scene where the... It's magical puberty, kind of. It's more like... I don't know how to explain it, because it's not a puberty thing. It's, um... Uh, how can I explain this in a way that makes sense? <laughs> But you know how Harry made the glass disappear when they were at the zoo and Dudley fell into the uh, exhibit with the snake? It's things like that that, um, that showed magical uh, properties, and it's people that restrain that. Like, it's people that forcibly restrain that. That's what causes the illness. So... Um... So that's what causes the illness in the series, is forcibly trying to restrain this uh, second thought magic. Where you're not intentionally trying to cast magic, but because you're at a young age, you don't know how to control it. And so, um, if you try to do that, th that's also the theory as to what happened to Dumbledore's sister. She may have had magic. And she restrained it. Restrained it? <laughs> yes, very pretty water. Um, but something restrained her magic, and she basically went boom. Because they, they, we don't know what exactly happened to Dumbledore's sister, but all we know is there was a fight between Dumbledore and Grindelwald. They, they were yelling, things were going off. Somebody thinks there was a spell cast that killed her, but it. Another theory is she possibly had this magical disease that made her basic go basically under this test between her brothers and a dear family friend. She just went boom. So. Basically, it's wizard spontaneous combustion. <laughs> it's weird, but it's a thing that happens in the magical world. Boom. Yeah, basically. They, di they didn't really show it as much in the Fantastic Beasts movie, but basically what happens is your the magic in your body becomes kind of rotten, and it turns into this, like, black energy, and then uh, once you hit a certain point, you just go... Poosh! Like, the magical energy bursts out of you and destroys you. So... That's basically, um, what happens. <laughs> like I said, I've studied, like, the science behind all these things. I, I like learning the science behind mythical, magical worlds, because it's like, it doesn't seem like there's science, but if you, like, look, it's there. <laughs> and the game froze again. <laughs> I like the quick sexuality change for Dumbledore. Yeah, at first I didn't like it, but I like the story they gave him as time went on. Like, I, I do like that he did fall in love with Grindelwald. 
I didn't like that Ra JK Rowling was basically like, yeah, he gay, and then that was it. But once we actually got the story behind it, I'm like, okay, I can see where this is coming from. And I'm like, if this was hinted at a little bit in the original series, I think people wouldn't be as pissed. But basically, she created the story after everything was done. That's what pissed everybody off. They could have hinted at that way more. And I mean, like, you don't need a character to basically just go around with a banner saying, I'm gay! But, like, if you're going to have a character like that, show some sort show some sort of acknowledgement in some way, even if it's subtle. I'm, I'm making a comic series right now where one of my characters, I don't want it revealed until later that he's gay, but there will be hints towards... Um, his boyfriend throughout the series and if people are if people are looking they'll be like hey wait a second <laughs> so um I, and then when i do reveal it i kind of want it to be a like a healthy joke I, know, I won't lie i do like that story yeah but um i wanted his reveal of his sexuality to be kind of a joke because all the other characters don't realize it and I want him to make it like as a secondhand remark, be like, oh yeah, my boyfriend's coming to town. And they'd be like, hold up, what? <laughs> and, but other than that, that was, that's, the, didn't want to make a big deal out of it for his character. Wait, am I, am I allowed to leave now? Can I leave? I don't have to talk to you, I fix the statue, then I leave. <laughs> How do I unlock you? I look great in this outfit, not gonna lie. I was gonna wear something else, but my character looks way better in this one. Where am I supposed to go now? Hold on, I'll just pull up the map. I, I've been studying, like, literature and how to write literature, so that way I make my stories feel a lot more fleshed out and well written so honestly the funniest way i've seen some try to show someone was gay was by them fully dressed up in a rainbow and a uh, hair that was so bright with the yeah <laughs> i feel like this character would but i just he's so, the way his personality works i just think it would be 10 times funnier if he just mentioned it as like an offhanded remark and everybody be like hold on what because <laughs> uh, I just imagine one of my other characters getting pissed because this guy is really po the gay character is really popular with girls because he's a very nice character so they misinterpret his uh, kindness for flirting so I just want him to be like you're gay but you're getting all these chicks <laughs> and then the guy's just like whatever <laughs> so um but I wanted the I wanted everything to seem healthy, though. Like, I, I'm... If I'm going to make a joke about these... If, about things like that, I want it to be in a way that seems healthy. So... How the fuck do I get over there? get to explore um but yeah i'm in that series there will be a lot there will be a lot of representation in healthy ways like i have different characters part of different parts of the lgbt community and then um my main character has autism i based it on my own form of autism uh so 
and I'm gonna have it, her story be a lot further to mine. Um, that, I'm trying to finish. Uh, I'm trying to finish up some other projects before I release that one, but that is my main goal for when I release <laughs> something. <laughs> oh my God! Why are you taking forever to walk? Yeah. But, um, I'm, I'm really excited to release that series eventually. I, I have lots of different plans to show different representation. And I, I did a lot of research so it seemed as healthy as possible. Please, let me go through the door. I want to go to Hogsmeade. It's all over an hour and a half, and this, I'm... Ah. Where are you releasing it to? I'm going to release it to Tapas, the, the website Tapas, eventually. Um, it is still a long ways out, though. I, I probably won't be releasing it for a couple of years. Uh, because I'm the only one working on it, plus I have other projects that I'm trying to get done. So it, it still is a a bit of a ways out. I have the first couple chapters sketched out, but um, I still need to work on it. I, I can't afford to hire somebody to help me with it. That's why I'm trying to do other things and projects until I can move forward. Um, I'm making a fan comic that I'm watching on YouTube, Nowhere to Go, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> um, I'm also planning on releasing a, um, fan comic for a series I like, but I feel like the series is lacking in its writing department, so I'm making a comic that basically will be, uh, kind of making fun of it a little bit, because I feel like it, it deserves a lot more love and attention when it comes to writing, but the creators aren't putting in the effort. So I'm I'm gonna try and do that with my fan comic. So and I know some people will hate some of the decisions I made for the fan comic, but I'm like, I wanna write the best story I can and this is how I feel like it would work. Um <laughs> So that'll probably be released sooner. I want to release the first chapter of the if fan comic within the next year. An answer as to why that portrait was empty. Wait, where am I supposed to go? I'm going to be releasing YouTube videos for on my art channel for the upcoming fan comic. Uh, soon. I'm just trying to finish some things so that way I can release back-to-back -back videos on, in a healthy schedule. Why do you freeze? I just want to do my stuff. Um, I think, I think, uh, I think I put on my, uh, Twitch channel my link tree, which will have links to everything, including my Discord, where I put my, the most updates. I'm trying to update things more often, but it's hard to get things done in a timely manner when it's just me, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm doing the best I can with the little amount of resources I have. I don't know where I'm going. Wait, I think I know where I am. If I keep going this way, I'll be headed towards the Quidditch pitch. I, I know from the Lego Harry Potter games. <laughs> I, 
I've been wanting to do more streaming, so the Harry Potter uh, Hogwarts Legacy was a good excuse. Damn it, Fig. I'm sorry for annoying you. Stop lagging my game. I just want to go to Hogsmeade. Understandable. I would never be able to focus on making something due to me being focused on everything else. Yes. Um. Yeah. I, plus, adding in the fact of my ADHD, it makes it ten times harder. Because I just need one shiny object to distract me, and I'm not working for the day. Lumos. You have a lantern, so I'm. I want to light your lantern. It's not working. I think my phone's going off. Hold on. I I never have my phone on um anything other than vibrate cuz I don't like being annoyed by constant notifications. It was not my phone. I think I'm just hearing things. Um Okay, you can put your wand away. I plan on building this fantasy game show for people in the game to have fun with, but got so focused on what the questions and all other things will be that I couldn't focus in on it. Yeah, I, I feel that. Okay, I think I know where we are, and we might be... Haha! Task failed successfully. I didn't mean to do this, but... Oh no! Is that what I think it is? Hello, looking for me? Hold on a second, Natty. You're not important right now. I want to get the thingy. But yeah, I have um, two comic projects in production right now, and then I have um, one big project in production, and then I have a couple of smaller projects that aren't as important and I can release as whenever. Um, and then... Um, but yeah, on my Discord, I ha I give a lot of updates for the stuff. So, um, my fan comic that I'm making is is uh on its is almost ready for release. Hi. Um, uh, my fan comic is almost ready for release. I just need to ha I just need to um get the time to color and shade it because I might have someone. Um, be able to ink it for me. Ooh, wait. Before I talk to you, Natty, we gotta go get the flu powder. Uh, just here to lurk and give support. Hi. We're probably gonna be stopping soon. Police, you're close. Yeah. Oh my god. I swear, Dr. or Professor Fig cursed my game. He's like, haha, I know you're streaming, so I'm gonna make it this shit for you. Your fig was not pleased. Yeah. No, you you missed my first stream. I was quite annoying to Professor Fig. Ooh, was that the friar? He's the Hufflepuff ghost. Hi there. Okay, bye. Nice meeting ya. Talk to Natty. Um, we're gonna try and go to Hogsmeade, and depending on how well my game handles it, uh, we may either finish the Hogsmeade thing, and then, I mean, I didn't want any spoilers on my first opening. Yeah. 
yeah. To be fair, I was pretty annoying. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to... You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. Yeah, I only chose you because I couldn't remember the other guy. And you seem nice. I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Leg Lego Kadab Lego Kadabra, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. It it's really funny when it comes to the audio stuff because it just seems like my character has social anxiety. <laughs> that was literally over half of my stream yesterday, was just my character having uh, a social anxiety panic attack. Like, every time they tried to ask a question, they were just sitting there for, like, five minutes. Every single time. And I'm like, talk. Say something. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> but now I think the other NPCs realize my character has social anxiety is finishing their uh, sentences for them. <laughs> Game. Game we going? I should I should create a link thing for my um for my uh, on my Discord so that way people can contact me or any people that have spark on my stuff. Uh, did it happen? Are we back in purgatory? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we're not staring at a door. It, it can't be purgatory unless we're staring at a door. <laughs> this is just the black void and nothingness. Okay. Think we're going to Hogsmeade? We good? We good, homie? Oh, the Shrieking Shack probably won't be there either. I'm trying to think of, like, timeline-wise, what would be missing. The Shrieking Shack probably won't be there, because I wasn't created for Lupin. Uh, Honeydukes, I don't know if it'll be there. I don't know how old the shop is. True, the door was the best part of the last stream. You got a lot of time with Pig, yeah. That was the first stream. Then I, I think you missed the one yesterday. And then it was this one today. Don't worry, you didn't miss much yesterday. We just uh, went to a class, and that was it. I It was so fucking laggy. <laughs> um, load faster. I sent you my character. Okay, I'll check it out in a minute. I was busy, Sally. It's all right. You can go to my YouTube and watch it. <laughs> uh, I haven't uploaded it yet, but I will try to upload the videos uh, within the next week or so. Because I don't want to all upload all of them within one day. Uh, so I will probably upload um, the first stream tomorrow is tomorrow friday friday um and then the others like monday wednesday friday so uh the stream you missed will probably be uploaded monday
I would love to explore the Hogwarts grounds, but Sonic 06 got better graphics, yeah. I would love to explore the Hogwarts grounds and everything else, but so freaking laggy. Again, I don't know why it's it, it was not being this laggy before I started my stream, which I think is hilarious. It was fine until I started the stream. <laughs> Your character looks like a dork, ask ya. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I have barely done anything in the plot in the last couple of streams, which I think is hilarious and brutal. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Mm. My friend told me of like a way to cheat the viewership thing, like to get viewer numbers up so you can get affiliated sooner, but I don't know if I should do that. Because, like, I, I meet all the requirements except uh, viewer time. So, like, it's not like I'd be cheating that much. I'd just be... <laughs> I'm gonna ha I want to hack the system. <laughs> but, like, I'm literally so close to um... I'm so close to getting affiliate, and I'm, I just need viewer, uh, time, but people usually don't stay long my stream. yeah. But, um, I literally have hit every other requirement, and it's just people don't usually stick around, they'll stay for like five minutes and then leave, and then I'm like, well, that doesn't raise my time. <laughs> So, oh, this isn't Hogsmeade. Where are you going? Sonic 06 loaded, yeah. She just bolted. She asked me to accompany you. Yes, I had really? planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. Shut up. She's even faster than me. I'm gonna kick her ass one of these days. I only chose her because she. Uh, she seemed easier to handle than the other I guy. I tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Great mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I think it'd be fun. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. <laughs> Sounds like my mom. That happened all the time when I was younger. Uh, I'd be like, oh, I want to do this fun elective, and my mom's like, no, you're doing this one. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm following you. Oh. Natty disappeared into the void. I disappeared in the void! <laughs> okay, we we might be done with this stream for the day. <laughs> How can you do that? I didn't abandon her on purpose. I fell through the floor. <laughs> Not much for the cold, are you? I hopefully it'll respawn me. <laughs> Please respawn me. Please respawn me.
Okay, I can respawn. <laughs> this is what ended the stream last time. <laughs> I wasn't part of a quest, so it didn't it didn't throw me. <laughs> yeah. Dear people who made Hogwarts Legacy, void. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this again, and if it doesn't work, we're gonna end the stream, because I, I usually only stream for an hour, and my Hogwarts streams have been going about two hours each. So, I want to try and get to Hogsmeade, try and get some of the quests done, at least, but we're getting close to wrapping up. <laughs> Uh, this game seems so fun. I like watching scenes for ten hours and then being able to play. I know, right? <laughs> Ugh. I'm tempted to make other accounts on here uh, for the other houses because I want to see uh, the differences in the game because apparently if you do other houses you get different quests and so I kind of want to do that and the only time I would probably stream those accounts would be if it's for a quest that Ravenclaw doesn't have but I don't want to do that until I've played through Ravenclaw. So, just awkwardly sitting here. <laughs> I love the old in the void. Natty, wait up. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better day in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Water. <laughs> I need water. Blue power. <laughs> I love when the faces don't look it load in. They look so derpy. It's hilarious. It's like dirt. <laughs> I'm doing us a favor, Natty. Trust me. Look at a uh, great, this great great. Natty, look at this great great. Wow, so great. <laughs> Derp lady, the famous wizard. Yeah. Ooh, is that lavender? Natty, I found lavender. Natty, I don't trust the bridge. It looks like a PS One game. We're gonna take our time, Natty. Ooh, Natty, look, a waterfall! Natty, let's get a good view of the waterfall. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is Ooh. to breathe fresh air after uh, being cooped up in ancient rooms. Great so pretty. To take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it. Natty is gonna be big when too. Yeah. Well, she deserves to be annoyed. Easy. She kicked my ass in charms, and I'm still not happy about it. She was using hacks. Natty, look a wee hero. Natty. Oh, look at. It. Oh, oh my, that is gorgeous. It's not fully loaded in, but it's beautiful. Look at my amazing ass. <laughs> Should we just start calling her Fig 2? Fig 2! Stop moving! Look, a bench! Fig 2!
Hey, you nerd, you've got a book? Get back here, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just jumped the wall! <laughs> is beautiful this time of year. Natty, I can jump a wall! But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind cold so much. It is hard taking some getting used to. I did not grow up with snow. I love the cold. 150 score. That's so easy to be. I know. She got a perfect score. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm purposely like stopping so that way I stop a lot of big bridges. I would if I could. I've been trying to do that with staircases oh, to go faster. About them. But if you do them, you can also use them in potion making. Okay. But um I've been trying to jump staircases to make things go quicker. And it's like, if you get to a certain height, it's like, oh, can't do it. And I'm like, damn it. Speedrunner, jump off the height. Yeah. What the fuck? The game crashed! <laughs> the game crashed! It said it was done!